The most important takeaway for this year's new fronts will continue to be, and not surprisingly, be brand safety. O2T means a number of different things to a number of different people. So that's really big for us, and we think that when we can clarify that, we can, you know, ship more dollars into the ecosystem. This is streaming TV's moment. You look at all the companies making all their bets, and you look at the viewers and how their habits have changed. I mean, it's all happening right now. When we think about video, first and foremost, we want to make sure that we are investing in a really healthy ecosystem. The most important thing for marketers and buyers to understand about TV is just how fundamentally consumer viewership has changed. There will be an evolution, though, because that brand safety, safe environment is really table stakes, and advertisers will refuse to be vulnerable in this space. And so it will evolve to uh, demanding trusted environments. What do we offer marketers, right? And the answer to that is, is access to audiences that can help drive advertisers' business results. Trust is so important and truly, really essential from a consumer consideration. So it drives purchase consideration, brand advocacy, and loyalty. For publishers, we partner with a variety of various um, partners in the industry in order to bring content that people care about onto the platform. And we're not just guessing about what type of content to bring on. We actually are listening to what people are saying and working with our partners to be able to bring content that they care about onto the platform. The future of content, the present of content, is really being fueled by people's passions. And so we're seeing consistently consumers are telling us both in what they say and in what they do that relating to someone's passion point is several times more important than a lot of things that we have thought were important in traditional TV. So we're focusing really hard on putting a lot of efforts towards you know, really the definitions and terminology around OTT so everyone's talking the same language and understand each other. The access that you offer needs to cross not just linear television but also digital environments in multiple platforms. It has to um, go across social, YouTube, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, uh, and it's much, much more complicated. And when you talk about advertising and commercialization, you just have to recognize that there's so many commercial-free platforms that if there's anything that should happen is that marketers should embrace the commercially supported OTT providers to ensure that they can still market with Sites and Emotion TV storytelling.